We interrupt this program to bring you an urgent emergency alert from the UK government and the Met Office. A tornado with wind speeds estimated to be more than 410 km per hour is headed for Birmingham, Nottingham, Leicester, Derby, Coventry, Wolverhampton and nearby communities within the West Midlands and East Midlands regions. Take shelter now in a basement or small interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Take cover under a mattress, heavy blanket or sturdy furniture for protection from debris. Avoid all windows, do not attempt to flee in a vehicle, seek shelter immediately indoors. Local authority shelters have opened across Birmingham, Nottingham and Leicester. Follow local signage or listen to radio instructions. This is a dangerous situation. Complying with these instructions may increase your chances of survival. Tune to BBC Radio, national TV channels, or visit gov.uk slash alerts for continuous updates. Additional warnings will follow. Attention, attention. A tornado with wind speeds exceeding 410 km per hour is approaching central Leicester, including this stadium. For your safety, take immediate shelter. Remain calm and follow all instructions from staff. Move away from open areas and sitting. Proceed immediately to the lowest covered area of the stadium into a more dangerous or designated shelter zones. Avoid the last large doors and extend. This is Rescue 191. We've located four civilians on the rooftop, two adults, two children, Grid F72 Alpha, five blocks south of stadium. Building is unstable. We're attempting an emergency hoist. Rescue 191. Be advised. Tornado core is within three kilometers of your position. Debris field is expanding. You have less than two minutes. Recommend abort. Negative. Control. One child appears unconscious. Family is waving frantically. We're going in. Hold us steady. Lowering cable now. Winds at 110 knots. Birds getting thrown. Stabilizers at limit. Winch, you have 45 seconds. Repeat, 45 seconds maximum. Rescue 191. Debris now visible on radar. You must pull out. Repeat, abort extraction. Now. We've got the girl. Securing harness. The father's trying to lift the boy. They are slipping. Wait. Wait. Tail rotor hit. Rotor strike. Mayday. Mayday. We're losing control. Altitude dropping. Rescue 191. Pull up. Pull up. Do you copy? Mayday. Mayday. Rescue 191 going down. 527 Warden. Tell their family we... Attention all military personnel, attention all military personnel, a tornado with wind speeds exceeding 410 km per hour is projected to impact the West Midlands and East Midlands, with a potential path through or near Staffordshire, including civilian zones surrounding Beacon Barracks. All base personnel are to initiate shelter in place protocol immediately, seek cover in hardened facilities, designated interior bunkers, or underground shelters. Avoid open ground, hangars, and non-fortified structures. Command staff, activate rescue operational readiness. Prepare units, medical assets, and logistics teams for immediate post-storm deployment. Expect wide-scale civilian casualties and critical infrastructure damage across Birmingham, Leicester, and surrounding regions. Logistics and Engineer Corps, begin staging for temporary field camp setup. Prioritize water purification, mobile shelter units, trauma triage tents, and comms relay deployment. Beacon Barracks will serve as a strategic rear operations and supply point for humanitarian response. Civilians from affected zones are being routed toward military support hubs. Coordinate secure reception, registration, and shelter allocation upon arrival. Follow all JTF Midlands directives. All personnel are to carry ID, secure classified materials, and await further orders via secure mod comms or channel Alpha 5. This is a high casualty risk event. Compliance with emergency protocols is mandatory. 
Further instructions to follow upon all clear signal. A high intensity tornado with wind speeds exceeding 410 km per hour is tracking toward the Nottinghamshire region. Impact zone includes Staythorpe and the surrounding East Midlands corridor. All on-site personnel must act now. Initiate emergency shutdown sequence for gas turbine and steam systems. Isolate high voltage systems in coordination with national grid control to prevent overload or feedback during impact. Lock out gas intake valves and purge volatile lines if shutdown criteria are met. All personnel must proceed immediately to designated storm shelter or reinforced interior zones away from exterior walls, turbines, or blasts. Control room staff to execute four back protocols and transition to remote monitoring, if available, once secured. Do not attempt evacuation via vehicle. Shelter in place until tornado has cleared and all clear is given. Notify grid ops of potential force outage or loss of state or generation capacity. Prepare for back routes for redistribution of regional load demand. Establish contingency handoff to Rackley for West Burton sites if grid stability is affected. Secure operational logs, system telemetry, and emergency incident reports. Prepare post-impact inspection crews to assess turbine holes, transformer yards, and cooling systems. Anticipate risk of HV arcing, gas leaks, and infrastructure collapse. Ensure PPE and site access control after all clear. This is a life-threatening weather event. Securing personnel and equipment immediately is essential to operational recovery and safety. Await confirmation from regional EOC before resuming operations. This is a national emergency update from the UK government and the Met Office. The tornado threat has passed. This message is being broadcast across all networks as of 12.46pm. The large and violent tornado that struck the West Midlands and East Midlands has now dissipated. The UK government has issued an all clear for Birmingham, Nottingham, Leicester, Derby, Coventry, Wolverhampton and surrounding communities. However, hazards remain due to widespread damage, debris, and infrastructure failure. Preliminary damage reports show that the tornado has caused catastrophic structural damage across city centers and residential areas, power grid outages affecting over 2 million residents, road and rail transport disabled across much of the central region, emergency services overwhelmed in multiple counties, and confirmed casualties though numbers are pending verification. Met Office meteorologists, in collaboration with international experts, are reviewing the enhanced Fujita scale following this unprecedented event. Wind speeds recorded during the storm may exceed current EF5 limit. A potential EF6 classification is under active consideration, a category never before observed in the UK or globally. British armed forces have deployed to Birmingham, Nottingham and Leicester. Military vehicles and personnel are supporting urban search and rescue efforts, temporary field hospitals, civilian evacuation to safe zones, logistics and humanitarian relief convoys to outlying areas. The Ministry of Defence has activated Joint Task Force Midlands to coordinate ongoing efforts. Citizens are urged to comply fully with local responders. In response to this historic disaster, the UK government has announced a national tornado mitigation and education strategy. This will include tornado drills and awareness materials in schools, infrastructure reinforcement for storm resilience, public alert systems to be modernized and expanded nationwide, updated guidance for home shelters and emergency kits. All residents across affected regions are advised to follow these safety measures. Avoid all downed power lines and unstable structures. Do not enter damaged buildings until cleared by authorities. Tune in to BBC Radio, National TV, or gov.uk slash alerts for ongoing instructions. Contact local emergency hotlines only in life-threatening situations. We extend our deepest condolences to those affected. The United Kingdom stands united in recovery. Further updates will follow. <laughs>